Welcome back to our channel, Earth Explorers. Today, we're diving into the fascinating world of weathering, how rocks break down and transform over time. Specifically, we'll be exploring the differences between chemical weathering and physical weathering. Ready to become rock experts? Let's get started. First, let's talk about physical weathering, also known as mechanical weathering. This process involves the breakdown of rocks into smaller pieces without changing their chemical composition. Imagine a giant rock gradually breaking into smaller and smaller pieces. This can happen through several mechanisms. One common method is freeze-thaw cycles. Water seeps into the cracks of rocks, freezes, and expands, causing the rock to break apart. This is known as frost wedging. Another example is abrasion, where rocks and sediments grind against each other, wearing away surfaces. Think of river rocks becoming smooth over time as they tumble downstream. Even plants contribute to physical weathering. Tree roots can grow into cracks in rocks, forcing them apart as the roots expand. Now, let's move on to chemical weathering. This process changes the chemical composition of rocks, often leading to their dissolution or the formation of new minerals. Chemical weathering occurs through reactions with water, air, and other chemicals. One common type is oxidation. When rocks containing iron are exposed to oxygen and water, they can rust, similar to how metal rusts. This weakens the rock and causes it to break down. Another type is carbonation. When carbon dioxide from the air or soil dissolves in water, it forms carbonic acid. This acid can react with minerals in the rock, like limestone, leading to dissolution. Acid rain, which contains sulfuric and nitric acids, can also accelerate chemical weathering, especially in urban areas. An everyday example of chemical weathering is the weathering of marble and limestone statues in buildings, which can become pitted and worn over time. Let's recap the key differences between physical and chemical weathering. Physical weathering is all about breaking rocks down into smaller pieces without changing their chemical makeup. Chemical weathering involves chemical reactions that change the minerals within the rock. So next time you see a rugged mountain, a smooth river rock, or a weathered statue, you'll know a bit more about the incredible processes at work shaping our planet. Thanks for joining us today on Earth Explorers. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for more exciting geology adventures. See you next time.